Did you know I nearly died at the age of 5. It was when I was traveling with my father and a few other doctors for medical work among the Bondo tribal people in the hills of Odisha. Along the way, three men in a drunken state started attacking the jeep we were in with bows and arrows. Thankfully, I survived to narrate this story today, but it did not hinder these doctors from continuing on with their journey to reach out to these poor people with medical help. It made me wonder what made these doctors to do this to help the people who try to harm them good evening everyone my name is jessica and i would like to share my experience in hospitals all across rural india where my parents have lived and worked as it has influenced me much and is close to my heart i was born in otanjatram a small town in dindigal district where my dad worked recently i had the privilege of visiting that hospital again and i was told it was started by a gandhian in response to the prevalent poor socio economic status in that region 6 decades ago i was also told that there was a severe famine and when the hospital started which caused people to eat sodas to quench the hunger yes sodas we then moved to a place called lamtapot in southern orissa where i lived for the first 5 years of my life my parents worked in a hospital which was built to serve the poor and marginalized tribal population in that region according to the 2011 census odisha has 62 tribes and the tribal population is the third largest in the country housing 13 particularly vulnerable tribal group loss of life due to the killers malaria and sickle cell disease is so common that i have not seen people cry much after the death of a loved one not to mention i myself had cerebral malaria and survived by the grace of god a big thanks to doctors who live and work in such hostile conditions i also had the privilege of staying in ranipet hospital campus where my dad was employed it was where the famous dr ida scudder spent her childhood she later responded to the country's needs for medical education and service and established christian and medical college velar throughout my journey through different hospitals i noticed a common thread connecting them all they all had the same purpose to serve the downtrodden and the marginalized to give back the love and the care that their forefathers had received a few years back on a family trip to munar we were at a bungalow visiting in that bungalow there was a very old tree house which my brother partially explored i too wanted to check it out but soon my excitement turned into tragedy as i suffered multiple wasp stings and a uncle who heard me scream carried me down and i was taken to a nearby health center the health center had no doctor so my parents who were doctors started treating me as it was an emergency but they were soon asked to leave by a nurse who came in by then i was eventually taken to a larger hospital as my body started to well up and this could have stopped my breathing in munar there are thousands of tea garden workers i wondered what happened to any of the children of any of those workers how could they access an emergency treatment what happened to the victims of snake bites healthcare in rural areas is largely limited by 34% of doctors working in rural india which houses 72% of the population last year me and my parents went to the poorest state in india you guessed it right bihar in bihar there is a hospital my dad's friend is a lone doctor so my parents stepped in to assist him for a week my mother went to a patient's home to offer home based care upon returning she told me and my dad about the conditions of those people she said in a family of 6 three children had died due to cancer and the last child had a large tumor on the back of his neck and that 20 to 30 people lived in one house where sanitation and hygiene is a distant dream this really moved my heart as children my age are suffering and dying just because they are poor and they can't afford healthcare and those visionaries who came to rani pe 200 years ago to velur 100 years ago to tanjatram 60 years ago and to orissa 30 years ago have put their lives on the line to bridge this gap by standing alongside the government to reach out to the unreached with affordable access to healthcare poverty is a major cause of ill health and a barrier in accessing healthcare what is my response to this problem where can i start god willing i can become one of those doctors and go back to these places but if that doesn't happen what then will people hear my stories and be move to start helping the people in rural areas many of my friends are not aware of the health scenario in rural india so i will share with them my experiences and observation and i will start a crowd funding movement and i will request them to do small auto crafts which i will sell online and buy essential equipment using the money i will donate this equipment remotely located hospitals which are resource poor will that be enough will small beginnings bring about any change hence my appeal to the allied present here is to consider 
are contributing generously towards the welfare of our own countrymen so that they can tide over crisis especially when caught unaware with ill health so please support my movement thank you